Golowar has a very awesome looking Valkyrie armor that you can get from the hardest bosses in the game, but is the armor any good? Let's take a look in this video and I will of course also tell you how to get it. So yes, this video contains spoilers of the end game of Golowar. You still here? Okay then, if you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go! So obviously you can get this Valkyrie set by killing the Valkyries. I will give you tips and share which one dropped the armor in a second, but first let's take a look at this epic set. Starting at level 6, this armor is pretty balanced with a nice amount of defense, but also strength, runic, vitality and cooldown. So enhancing all your combat abilities. Upgrading it will enhance the defense even more and get it up to level 8 in the vinyl upgrade with 3 socket options. But of course these epic armor sets are all about their unique perk as well. And while with the mist set for example all the different armor pieces had the same perk giving you a small amount of health over time even in combat. With the Valkyrie set all the different pieces come with their own unique perk. The chest has a low perk activation chance to grant unstoppable armor. Aura after a successful hit, this will prevent enemies from interrupting you, so not that nice in my opinion. The one from the gauntlets though is really really good. It will refresh all the cooldowns of your runic attacks on any successful runic attack kill, but this sadly again has a low chance of happening. And that is why the one from the waste with a high perk activation chance is really a standout. Here you have a high chance that you will get the blessing of runic when doing a runic attack, enhancing the power by a lot and you will really see it when this buff is active, especially against enemies that have a ton of health because their bar will drop extremely fast. And because this happens like a lot, I can totally recommend this waste even if you do not plan to use the rest of the armor set. Upgrading it to level 8, like I said, will give you 3 socket options and it makes this the best waste in the game in my opinion. So at one point I want to do like a full best loadout video combining armors as well and I totally think this waste guard of the Valkyrie will be included in that video. So how do you get this one? Well there are multiple Valkyries in the game in the hidden chambers and it's nice to go after them after you completed the main story because then you also got the key to open the hidden chambers and while you should totally like go after all of them only three of them will give the gear and that is also nice about this Valkyrie gear you do not have to craft it it will just drop so you can immediately use it you can get the chest of this epic gear set from the Valkyrie in the mist so in Nilfheim and this one is like pretty deep in the mist so as far away from the start as possible and only totally when you want to take her on skip the rest of the area so you have the most amount of time to kill her because you of course when in the mist have this timer that runs down as well and don't worry when you kill her the timer will go full again so you have enough time to escape the area. I will share some overall tips on how to take her on in a second but first the waste guard is a drop from the Valkyrie in Alvheim and that one is pretty easy to find because the icon should be on your map when you reach this realm and you can get the gauntlets from the Valkyrie in Muspelheim so arena 6 so you first have to complete all the other challenges in order to reach this arena and I got tips on 1 to 4 in my fire armor set feature and tips on arena 5 and also on how to kill the valkyrie in arena 6 are in my best weapons video where i tell you how you can get the blades of chaos final upgrade because the valkyrie in muspelheim also drops an item that is needed to upgrade your blades of chaos to level 5 so in short totally check those videos if you want some tips on the arena in muspelheim and the tips i shared in my best weapons video also kind of apply to the other valkyries you will encounter in the game you want to use a lot of your runic attacks because because they will do a ton of damage. Here you see my Wrath of the Frost Agent attack against the Valkyrie all run in all time, dropping the health bar pretty pretty fast. If you don't have the rune yet, you get it from completing the Vanir's Horde side quest. There's a chest in the room filled with water and it's in there. I also use the River of Knives rune you should already have at this point because you get it from a main story mission. And totally upgrade your runes as well to level 3. You should have enough XP at this point to enhance enhance their duration and also their power. And since the runes on the axe and the blades do not share the same cooldown, switch between them so you can use both runes to get the most out of their attacks. Also good to note is that when the Valkyrie is like protecting herself with her wings, you cannot do a normal attack but you can do a runic attack. So totally do that to get in some nice damage. Apart from that you want to dodge a lot, hold your shield up to dodge incoming ranged attacks, use the attacks from your son as much as possible. I was level 8 when I took on all the Valkyries 
Valkyries, but I think on level 7 you can do it as well. I had the full mist armor set. Totally check out that video on how you can easily get it, because you can totally get it before you take on these Valkyries. And that will really help you a lot during the fight. If you are under leveled, it will be way tougher. And in the end, you, like I already said, want to kill all the Valkyries, because the materials you get from them are needed to upgrade this Valkyrie armor. And for later upgrades, you also need materials from Nilfheim and Muspelheim, so from the trials there. So just doing the end game activities will get you the level 8 upgrade eventually. Again, I totally think the waste will be worth it to upgrade to the vinyl level. I will do more in-depth analysis of God of War gear in the future, so totally keep an eye out for that. Subscribe to stay up to date on everything God of War. When we know more about this photo mode update, a potential new game plus mode, I will let you know so subscribe to stay up to date on that check out my recent video on a talisman in the game that has a hidden upgraded ability drop a like to support the channel i'll speak to you next time and goodbye